Okay, so that's how um, that's how uh, the packet forwarding works. And now we know all the terms. We know the terms of the agents. We know the terms of the addresses. Now the question is, uh, how how does how does this all get set up? In other words, if I have a um, if I have a mobile device and I show up somewhere, how is it that that uh, mobile device can learn the identities of the foreign agents uh, that are that are present in the foreign network. So remember, um, in principle, you uh, uh, mobile data network mobile data networks are set up so that you can go around the world and uh, anywhere you are, any cell phone company that's that's serving you uh, locally, you should be able to uh, you should be able to connect to their network. So there must be some kind of standard ways in which uh, the identities of the um, of the uh, of the agents are learned. That's just in the handshake process. Um, it turns out that there are a couple of uh, there are a couple of control messages that are used, and there, there's actually more than one way to do it. So, um, uh, well, I'll talk about that. So mechanics. How does mobile mode know what agents to use? A uh, related question, how does it know um, that it has switched from one network to another? So as far as finding an agent, uh, there are two methods. So as you might expect, there's, um, there's two ways to find anything. Uh, either it comes to you or you go to it. And that's exactly what we have here. So we've got one method, which is called agent advertisement, in which um, the foreign agent will periodically advertise its presence. does this using a control message um, from a protocol called ICMP. Does anyone know what ICMP stands for? stand for protocol. <laughs> Inter it's Internet Control Message Protocol. Does anyone know what else it's used for? Things. That's a good one. Um, so I'm going for, uh, it's actually used, it's used for uh, router, router advertising. So if, if you've got a router out there on the wired internet and you want people to use you, you send ICMPs to your neighbors saying, I'm a router. It can be enabled one way as well. Like it's, well, it's usually two-way traffic, right? So it is possible to enable it just one way so that you can access people. Can people can get one way. Actually, don't know. That's a good question. Um, well, but if you make the network hidden, like don't broadcast that society changes to so it. Is that one way? Is that one way? I actually don't know enough about it. Um, but my only point here is that, uh, so in the same way that ICMP lets you discover routers, I mean, the home agent is a kind of router, the foreign agent is a kind of router. It's, uh, it's uh, from your perspective, the foreign agent will be routing uh, packets from the rest of the internet towards you. So in some sense, uh, this, 
the use of ICMP makes sense. Let me just write that Internet Control Message Protocol. Okay, and the other way, as I alluded, um, so if you can't, if, you, uh, if no one's advertising to you, if no one's coming to you and saying, I'm an agent, uh, what do you do? Well, you go around and start asking people, are you an agent? So that's agent solicitation. <laughs> you, you go to it. So if a node doesn't receive, um, an agent advertisement, it can ask for one. It can send a request. This is done using a modified ICMP. And routers do this as well. They both advertise and solicit using ICMP. So for example, so how would this work in practice? Um, probably the way it would work is this. So here's your foreign network. And you're tootling along, and suddenly you find yourself inside this foreign network. And attached to this foreign network is a foreign agent. So remember that uh, mobile IP is a network layer protocol. So it's sitting on top of both the data link and the physical, uh, the physical layers. So what that means is, um, once you have a link to this network, that link is uh, that link is fully established by the lower layers. So you can uh, uh, that that, uh, that link is well established and it's it's uh, it's it's fully usable by you. So once we've established that we have a link to this, once we establish that we're in this foreign network. We establish that we're linked to it, and we have uh, we have all the lower layers in place. Uh, presumably, what will happen in the in the agent advertisement case is that the foreign agent, uh, the foreign network controller, uh, will understand that we're we're present in this network and will instruct the foreign agent to send an advertisement. So a solicitation might occur if this, if these, these advertisements occur uh, periodically. Uh, solicitation might occur if we arrive in the network and these advertisements occur infrequently, and we wait for a bit and we don't see anything, and so we raise a uh, uh, we raise a solicitation because we just happened to arrive at the wrong time. <laughs> 